Hello, there's a short video on how to get started on a testnet. So we do know that there is a live net, um, so basically, or live slash main net, so the place where your XOP are right now, basically, which you're buy when you buy uh, XOP at an exchange, you're buying XOP, which do belong to the main net. Uh, but there's also testnet for developers, and also devnet, uh, for developers and for testing, obviously before you go into production. So this is the main net, but I will quickly also click here onto the test net. So now it's testnet.xopl.org, and here we can also uh, follow it, or how the things are being validated. Obviously, in the test net we have much fewer um, validators because obviously it's not important. So if anybody tries to attack the test net, it won't really matter, or because since, like I said, it's it's the test net, so the XOP on the test that don't have any real value. But let's see here. So for whenever I try to do something on the test, so there's somebody is testing, as we can see right now. So there's just a few transactions on there also. Uh, but I like to use the XOP toolkit for that. So we just go to test.xoptoolkit.com click on access testnet and here it's a little bit easier here we don't have to sign in using ledger blah blah we can directly you sign in using a secret key and it's very handy so we go we go to the xop faucet and can just generate test credentials so we copy the first secret here copy the secret paste it there and do it a second time click on access testnet and get another account so we have two accounts for testing and now we're basically already set. So we have now two accounts. So we've got that account and that account, which can now test on testnet. So I can copy this address here and also, for example, send XOP from this account to that account here and just fool around a little. So we can send 100 XOP, also add a memo. So this is a memo. So this is great for you if, you, if you're a little bit too afraid um, trying things on the mainnet, like I said. Uh, so we can just fool around a little bit on the testnet and know it's not serious. So now we can see, okay, yeah, XRP came in here, and you can test all the features of the XRP toolkit and just, like I said, fool around, test it. You can create escrows and also test that if you're comfortable with creating an escrow. Or, for example, let's create an escrow quickly. And for, well, for now, I click on now, and we'll just put it one minute into the future. And for example, we'll escrow 800 XRP. And this shall be sent to my account, which I have here again, or to the other one. I don't know which one this is. And I confirm that. So now, right now, I created an escrow. So now, out of my 900 XRP I have here, suddenly 800 are unavailable. So you can see here my balance has shrunk. So now we will have to wait a few seconds until it's 16.07. And now we can, we can also show you how the escrow can be resolved because just because the time passes, the escrow is not automatically um, uh, resolved. So now we will have to wait a few seconds because we have to send the so-called escrow finish transaction. It's rather simple, so at least using XOP toolkit. In the meantime, oh, okay, yeah, uh, let's just, I think it was 06, so let's try it one more time. I'm just refreshing here. So it should be in a second, but in the meantime, we can also go to the account here. We can trade all features. So unfortunately, the decentralized exchange, there's no liquidity there. So you can't buy and sell XOP. That's the only unfortunate thing here. So if we go to sell and try, oh, it even works. Cool, I can sell. Yeah, that one works even cool. Oh, I'm just making sure I am going to test that. So I can, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, right, uh, uh, I put in too much, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah, so let's see, but, but it, oh, obviously I don't have any US dollars, my bad, I would have to buy them, and it doesn't work, what, how many, oh, don't have XP here, trade, um, I want to buy, I want to sell, oh, my bad. So in both cases it's mentioned CXOP because usually, okay, I'm going to switch to pair then. Right, yeah. So now if we go to sell, I've got two XOP, can't do that. Yeah, like I said, there's no liquidity, unfortunately, to decentralized exchange on a testnet. But never mind, let's go one more time here to the escrow. And now we can see here the time has passed. And now, but the 800 are not released yet. Like I said, we have to send the escrow, escrow finish transaction. And then the escrow is finished, and then they are uh, accredited to my account again. And we are all set. So this is, oh yeah, I think I sent it to the other account. So then it goes here.
All right. All right, so that's basically how you can get set up on the testnet. So you can ha have account sent, XOP received, um, try all the different types of sending sending XOP. You can try all the flags here. You can set an invoice ID. You can, for example, uh, change the fee and all of that. You can test all of that on the testnet where it doesn't matter. And I basically just wanted to showcase how that actually works. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.